Welcome, viewers, to this engaging and thought-provoking debate in Singapore's parliament. In this video, we'll be discussing the recent motion presented by the Progress Singapore Party, PSP, calling for the reaffirmation of the need for an independent and impartial Speaker of Parliament, and for Parliament to be a fair arena for all. The motion came about after a hot MIC incident involving former Speaker of Parliament, Tan Chuan Jin. On April 17, 2023, Workers' Party, WP, Member of Parliament, MP, Jameis Lim, delivered a speech in Parliament. However, it was after this speech that Tan made an unparliamentary comment, which came to light on July 10, 2023. The incident sparked public concern and Tan apologized on July 11 for his inappropriate remark. On July 14, 2023, the Progress Singapore Party, PSP, took to Facebook to announce their intent to file a debate motion in response to Tan's hot MIC incident. The motion they proposed for the August 2023 Parliament session was as follows. That this House reaffirms its commitment for the need for the Speaker of Parliament to be independent and impartial and for Parliament to be a fair arena for all. As the debate commenced on August 2, 2023, the newly elected Speaker of Parliament, Seo Kian Peng, reminded the parliamentarians that the motion was not intended to be a debate on Tan's conduct. Instead, they were urged to focus on the subject matter of the motion and avoid personal aspersions or allegations about Tan's independence or impartiality. PSP non-constituency member of parliament, NCMP, Leong Mun Wai, took the floor to present his views. He acknowledged that Tan had apologized for his comment and resigned after his extramarital affair with another MP. However, Leong believed that the truly regrettable hot MIC incident deserved a full debate, as it had brought parliament into full disrepute. Leong argued that Tan's highly contentious comment had not only damaged the public's perception of his impartiality but also revealed Tan's personal views on MP Jameis Lim and his speech. As Lim belonged to the opposition, Leong stated that the comment had eroded public confidence in Tan's neutrality and impartiality. Therefore, Leong proposed the idea of a non-partisan speaker, or at least someone who is not a member of the ruling party's core leadership which in this case, is the People's Action Party, PAP, Central Executive Committee, CEC. Not all MPs agreed with Leong's proposal. PAP Sembawan GRC MP, Vikram Ne, disagreed with the notion that speakers automatically lack independence if they belong to a political party or its leadership. He argued that maintaining parliament as a fair arena for all is not solely the responsibility of the speaker but also of every member, who are bound by the parliament's standing orders and the parliament, privileges, immunities, and powers, act. Vikram proposed amendments to PSB's motion to make it more comprehensive. His suggested additions were as follows. That this house reaffirms its commitment. A. For the need for the Speaker of Parliament to discharge his duties independently and impartially, and for Parliament to be a fair arena for all. B. To uphold the standing orders of Parliament and the obligations under the Parliament, Privileges, Immunities, and Powers, Act 1962. Several MPs expressed their reasons for not supporting the original PSP motion. Leader of the House, Indrani Raja, agreed with the need for an independent and impartial speaker but disagreed with Leong's definition of independence as nonpartisan. PAP MP for Mountbatten SMC, Lim Bio Chuan, stated that speakers would have their own views, even if they are not affiliated with any political party. Ultimately, the amended version of PSB's motion received support from both PAP and WP MPs with only PSP NCMPs Leong Mun Wai and Hazel Poe recording their dissent. WP MP, Lim, expressed his support for the motion, both in its original and amended form, emphasizing the importance of respectful and passionate debate in finding a balance that society can accept. Thank you for joining us in this enlightening discussion on the Singapore Parliament's debate motion. If you found this video informative and thought-provoking, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content. 
Don't forget to leave your comments down below and let us know your thoughts on the motion, the debate, and the overall issue of an independent and impartial speaker in Parliament. Until next time, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.